Well, it's very much the case of celebrities keeping it in-house with the sale of a converted warehouse in the Sydney suburb of Lilyfield. You'll remember this place. This was Merrick Watts from Radio. That's his home. Well, renovating for profit queen Cherie Barber reportedly paid around $6 million for this home. Now, it was a former lolly factory. And even though it looks stunning to us and what could you possibly do to make it any better, I'm sure she'll do a little bit of renovating to make it even sweeter you to would, live in. You would think so, but <laughs> incredible. Isn't it? And one of Australia's leading fashion designers, Kit Willow, has listed her gorgeous Vaucluse property for auction. The four-bedroom home with stunning harbour views has been extensively renovated and sits on nearly 900 square metres of prime Sydney real estate. That one is just gorgeous. This place has been snapped up by pop sensation Tones and I. Uh, she's certainly splashing out, I guess, on the proceeds of Dance Monkey. Uh, <laughs> this is in Mount Eliza on Victoria's Mornington Peninsula. Five bedrooms rooms obviously gorgeous they're a beautiful pool and she did buy another home in that area quite recently She's been busy and this one is the home of well-known radio host Jackie O she's decided it's time to move on and listed her impeccable five bedroom three bathroom Vaucluse property the, oh, the master suite boasts sweeping harbour views there's an undercover alfresco dining area a cabana swimming pool it's got the lot. Some pretty handy ones from the celebrities this week. And it's interesting that they're all women and it's International Women's Day tomorrow. So excellent to see them all kicking goals in the property Well, front. there you go, sisters, yeah. doing it for themselves, aren't they? <laughs>